For the longest time now, it was forbidden to install macOS on a Microsoft tablet or even laptop in that matter. Even after Steve Jobs died, it was still that way even to this day. But I feel like that can change. Now see, there has been something called Hackintosh, where you install macOS on a PC, or uh, more specifically an Intel PC. If you have AMD, you're sort of out of luck if you get a minute to get it working. Baronet, um, really, there is a way to install macOS, but how? Well, it's all thanks to the Intel architecture. The Intel architecture basically allowed users to install macOS on their PCs, thanks to Apple switching away from PowerPC to Intel in 2006. But however, the trend is starting to actually die a bit since Apple switched to Apple Silicon in 2020. But I don't think it's dead yet, because I recently just installed macOS Monterey, not Ventura, not Sonoma, not Sequoia, I'll explain that later in the video, on my Microsoft Surface Pro 3, and it's pretty darn cool. Now oh, yeah, I know, like, Mac OS isn't supposed to run on Microsoft hardware, but you really, really gotta consider the fact that this is something that Apple would never, never make. Like, quite literally, a iPad running full-on Mac OS with a detachable keyboard. Like, somebody's gonna buy this? And want to want to have this, and this is probably going to be the best Apple product that I've ever laid my eyes on, other than the Vision Pro, of course, which I did actually go test. But really, it's really about what this thing can do, um, rather than like how this thing is a Microsoft tablet. Because if you look at the back here, I don't know if you can see this, but this thing says it's compatible with only Windows 8. Well, yeah, this thing is running full-on Mac OS Monterey. Now, Seer, I went to Monterey because I honestly think that it runs better on Monterey, and it's the only compatible version. So, therefore, I chose Monterey due to the compatibility of the graphics. I tried to use Ventura, but the graphics stink. Even Sequoia, the graphics stink. It's mainly because of the internal graphics of this very surface. So we're just stuck with Monterey. Now see here how you can use this and not how, but you know, basically how this works is actually flawless. First of all, as you can see here, the multi-touch gestures works, which means you have to like, you know, open multiple tabs. So, um, yeah, let's do that. You can swipe up, which you'll bring up that and swipe through tabs. You can even like put this in here. But the best part of all is the actual way the touchscreen works. So it's here, we just simply go take off the keyboard. And now we can go swipe up with three fingers, grab our tab. Oh, it takes a bit of an angling to, there it goes. Now you can put it anywhere you want. So I'm going to put it here. There we go. Simple enough. I'm going to put it here. It doesn't even require a tutorial to use this. I mean, it does require a tutorial to set this thing up, but really, this is absolutely amazing. <clears throat> yeah, now see, I do have a couple of programs on here. Um, we got Chrome, config, Open Core Configurator, Hacking Tool, Clover Configurator Free, and Dolphin, or just Clover Configurator. But, um, got some couple of notes on those apps. First of all, um, I can, I cannot figure out how to get games on here so dolphin's technically pointless i mean yeah it's um mac os i guess and also google chrome it's pointless because the wi-fi doesn't work so therefore you will actually have to use a network adapter of some sorts and actually use that to um use one time i'm just gonna go change my wallpaper and basically you just simply use um the wi um, Ethernet if you want, like, you see, I got my, my dad's phone here. Basically, I can't use Wi-Fi unless you can find a way to get an adapter and get an adapter software since Apple didn't let you. And yeah, also, the day and time automatically resets. So, how to fix that? Just simply go into settings and, you know, just go to clock, blah, blah, blah. 
I know, I know, we all know this, but I just don't care about it because really it's not really affecting my experience. There is absolutely no point in doing it, so I just keep it the way it is. But yeah, really, I feel like this is something that Apple should keep notes on. Oh yeah, and graphics acceleration works. Um, It doesn't work with Ventura, Sonoma, nor Sequoia, but it does work on um, Monterey, Big Sur, and Catalina. So, and you can consider the fact that if you go to general, even the light and dark mode works like that. Because I have to light all the warp is like, I mean, except for this, but whatever. But as you can see here, and I said, absolutely flawless experience with Mac OS um, Monterey. And yeah, which means you're gonna be any old graphics, like, um, you know, you got the old system preferences, you got the old about this Mac. And for the specs of mine, I have a Surface Pro 3 with a i5 or i7, I forget, um, with eight gigabytes of RAM, HD, Intel HD Graphics 5000, and uh, my serial number, I can't tell you that, but um, because it's weird. But remember um, that if you try to type it in, it'll probably just lend you to something else or say it's an inauthentic. Right? As you can see, we, we have lots of these wallpapers. Like, these are all good wallpapers. I, like to, I mostly like the Big Sur Road. I don't know why, I just like the Big Sur Road. I'm not worried. Just go click download on this and go show you guys what it looks like. And yes. They do take a bit. Unfortunately, you can't actually download them due to you not having the internet connection that is required to get like the wallpaper. So as you can see, it's not downloading um, because I am not connected to the internet. As you can see, I'll always say download, 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 download. I mean, the studio cloud didn't say download, but the only wallpapers available are Okay, not that one. Or the MacBook Pro, M1 Pro, and M1 Max wallpapers. The M2 MacBook Air wallpapers. As you can see here, they just changed color because these are the M1 MacBook Air, M2, sorry, MacBook Air wallpapers. We I can't see the M3 wallpapers, but that's probably because it's now the operating system. Catalina isn't available. Big Sur isn't available. The Cliss isn't available. Um, the lake isn't available, the desert isn't available, beach isn't available, this whole gradient is available, but Monterey is available though. But, um, and it's also dynamic, so you can see here, you go to change the wallpaper, um, the actual thing, you can see it just changes ever so slightly. I think it's actually a nice touch. I prefer the light though, because, you know, I'm a light guy and I like the light mode, and it really just brings it out, to really, so... Yeah, I mean, tomato, tomato, obviously, but look at this. I can swipe through. I can open app. I can even open apps. And even the camera works. See, look at that. Oh, <clears throat> one sec. Um, That's photo booth for you. And you can even change it from the back camera to the front camera. And would you look at that? I'm, like, on screen right now, and you can see my phone recording over there. But, yeah, basically, um, this is actually... A very very neat um piece of tech you can use like you know you can use it to write notes but just be aware that the wi-fi will not work on this model specifically i don't know if it does for the other models oh yeah also you do get battery percentage and audio look at that look at that but the function keys don't really function correctly you guys hear and one roll is F5 since it's not doing anything. 6 doesn't do anything. F8 doesn't do anything. 9, 10. F11. Oh, F11 is mission control. Okay. Try to open all of our little tabs here and just try it. Yeah, it's like here. Oh, actually, it's to get the desktop. Baronet. Um, Really, you can do some pretty neat multitasking here. But yeah, that is basically um, Mac OS on a Surface. <clears throat> so how to do it? Well, it's simple. Um, now see here first, something called the Open Core Guide. The Open Core Guide lets you actually teach you how to do this type of stuff. 
Like, Quailer, this is absolutely amazing. Like, look at that. Flawless, absolutely flawless. Basically, I recommend you guys follow on the open core guide. And in Sierra, it'll require you to actually use something called an EFI file, which boots the thing into oh, Mac OS. So now, how to get this is by simply going to the link down below, which is a link from GitHub, where you can actually get um, an EFI file for the Surface Pro free. If you actually go to the offer, he also has an EFI file for the Surface Pro 5, Surface Pro 6, and the Surface Pro 7. Don't know where 4 went, don't ask me. Ask the guy. But I'm just trying to tell you guys that this is revolutionary. This is something Apple should keep notes on. Because, yeah, I know, it runs Monterey. Maybe I try to do one. Maybe I might try to buy like a Surface Pro 7 and do that and install Sequoia. But really, this seems an absolute immaculate dream to use. Now, you could install Venture, you could install Sonoma, or even Sequoia, in fact. But just be alert that you'd be having graphics suffering. Sure, you can use OpenCore Legacy Patcher to, like, patch the graphics and stuff. But really, that's really going to come to be an inconvenient um, actual solution, rather than just simply using an old version like I did with macOS Monterey. I really, really like this, and if I'm honest with you guys, I feel like Apple should start taking notes. Please, Apple, make something innovative. Make something that will blow our minds away, because this is next level, level stuff, people. This is next level, you know what. But, yeah, really, this is something that Apple should start taking notes of. Do I recommend doing this? Well, it depends what you use your Surface for. If you're planning to upgrade from a Surface, then yeah, I guess you can reserve your Surface for um, Hackintoshing. But really, Hackintoshing can be a bit of a learning curve, so I recommend you guys going to the Open Core Guide from Dortana. And uh, yeah. And also, do not make your own EFI. Use the EFI down in the description as said below, or as said before. For now, this is Levex Tech. Thank you so much for watching. If you did, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do lots of content like this. And um, yeah, really, we try to work hard. I try to work hard on my content. So it means a lot for you guys to watch it. For now, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.